Man, the leaks for this movie just do not stop coming. I mean, I, it's Halloween, and I mean, I, just, who would have thought that this would have been a Halloween present is the Spider-Man No Way Home leaks. But at the same time, it's not a good thing because I'm kind of tired of all these constant leaks and like, you know, by the time the movie actually comes out, by the time we even get a second trailer, we're going to know everything about the movie at this point. But anyway, we do have some new stuff to talk about today. Uh, most of it I can't show you for obviously legal reasons and stuff like that, uh, but there is some stuff to talk about. So some new posts on the Marvel Studios spoilers Reddit reveal some new details about the costumes and suits that we're going to be seeing Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Willem Dafoe wear as Green Goblin in Spider-Man No Way Home. So as for Tobey and Andrew, as expected and as everybody hoped, they're going to be wearing the same suits from their trilogy movies. Well, except Andrew, because he didn't have a trilogy. But uh, Toby's going to be wearing his suit from Spider-Man 3, except supposedly it's a little brighter with colors, which honestly I think is a great idea because I'm really a big fan of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man suit, but I always wish that the colors, especially like the red and blue, were more brighter and less saturated. So I like that they're adjusting that for this film. And then as for Andrew, he's going to be wearing his same suit from The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which supposedly uh, lines up with that uh, supposed leaked set video of Andrew Garfield like on the bridge scaffolding whatever it was so could prove that that's real we don't still don't know for sure but definitely good news to hear that those two are going to be wearing their same suits Tom Holland obviously we know what he's wearing he's getting multiple suits throughout this film not only his red and black suit that he wore at the end of Far From Home but then he's also getting the new uh, integrated suit which is kind of like a mixture of the Iron Spider suit and like some Doctor Strange magic, I think, and then also the black and gold suit. But the big thing that everybody's been talking about here is Green Goblin because we don't have well, actually, there was a leaked image online of who I assume is probably like a stunt actor wearing a Green Goblin suit. So I can't show you that because that's the actual suit, but I can show you some fan art that has been designed based off this actual suit so just is going off descriptions and the actual photo of the suit the green goblin is going to be wearing in spider-man no way home and here it is and i'm liking it because clearly it's supposed to be the same version of willem dafoe green goblin norman osborn from spider-man after his death or right before his death however that exactly works but as you can see it's um they've made some adjustments to make it clear that this is after his death but also to make some things more comics accurate. Like, I love that he has um, just a bunch of battle damage going on here, and then it's like almost like you can see the exoskeleton of the Green Goblin suit has like purple accents to it. So I think that looks amazing because, of course, Green Goblin in the comics was all green and purple. So I love that they're integrating some purple in here instead of just the full-on green armor that Green Goblin wore in that Spider-Man movie. And then you've also got some gold throughout, which isn't really a Green Goblin color, but I do think it looks pretty nice on this suit. Uh, he's also got a little uh, bag thing. That, that's a classic Green Goblin thing that we never got to see him have in that movie. It's just like a, a satchel, just a, just that tan satchel that goes around his uh, his body. I think that's really cool because that, that's usually where he keeps his pumpkin bombs. And obviously we know we're going to be seeing pumpkin bombs in this movie based off the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Uh, but I think it looks great. Now, a big thing here that people have been wondering about is why is he not wearing a helmet? As you can see, he has no helmet on in this photo and he just has some goggles on, which the goggles actually seem very similar to Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus goggles. And there have been some rumors that maybe he's going to take them from Doc Ock or steal them or I'm not completely sure what it is, but that could be what we're seeing here. And I think this lines up. I feel like maybe he will get a mask at some point in the movie. Uh, but I I kind of like this decision, but at the same time, don't. It's kind of going off what they did in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 with Dane DeHaan's Green Goblin, uh, where he didn't really have, like, a helmet or anything like that. They kind of just relied on, like, some makeup and stuff to make him look really twisted and disgusting like a goblin. So they could be doing something similar here, and that's actually been a big complaint uh, from the first Spider-Man movie is that they got an actor like Willem Dafoe, who honestly, no offense to Willem Dafoe, already looks kind of creepy and like a goblin so you don't really need to give him a mask so i'm honestly fine with this idea but again i do hope that maybe at some point he gets a mask at this mo in this movie uh here's another um 
fan art design of what he would look like with the mask and i think he looks pretty cool i really do hope that he has the mask at least for part of the movie maybe just the final battle we do know that the villains in this movie are going to be going through some stages where it's going to be like where they're first uh brought into the mcu and they're like post-death but then probably by the end of it they'll get some upgrades before they have the final battle with the three spider-men but Anyways, guys, that is it right there with these new outfit designs and details and descriptions for Spider-Man No Way Home. Are you excited that Toby and Andrew are going to be wearing their classic suits from their own respective franchises? And what do you think about this design for Green Goblin? I'm honestly liking it. It's not at all what I expected, uh, but I do like that they're keeping the whole design from the Raimi movies but making it different and more comics accurate in a good way uh but again I do really hope that he wears the helmet for at least part of the movie uh but we'll have to wait and see on that but for now guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below what do you think about this brand new news for Spider-Man No Way Home and anyways thanks so much for watching please drop like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything that goes on in the Marvel life